Hey yo, what is up XM66F? In my opinion, I believe this is the best tank in the Christmas loot boxes and I'll tell you why. Now this tank has been in super test for quite a bit and then uh, it went through a couple of iterations before it was uh, finalized and added into the live server as one of the loot box tanks and a lot of its stats were buffed uh, including the engine horsepower which was a hundred horsepower added to it uh, the power to weight ratio also increased from 13.6 to 15.45 uh, the speed uh, reverse speed from 12 increased to 15 kilometers an hour reverse speed um, the Hull rotation speed 26 degrees per second increased to 27.12 degrees per second. Um, the reload time as well was buffed from 10 seconds to 9.11 seconds, almost a full second reload buff. The dispersion 0 0.38 uh, down to 0 0.36 upon release and the moving dispersion is not that great 0 0.18 means uh, that moving dispersion is kind of sus uh, you know you could run the vertical stabilization it would help a bit better but then you need to you need to give up something maybe like uh, for instance here I got the turbo instead of the vertical stabilization uh, instead I run the vents to help with that vertical stabilization which helps a little bit uh, i prefer to carry a turbo just to increase that a little bit of more mobility also what was buffed was the aim time 2.3 seconds buffed to 1.92 seconds uh, and the view range 360 meters buffed to 380 now this being a tank destroyer it means that uh, the camo value is not bad as well uh, the camo is 14.08 when you are not moving which means you can get this to about 30% of uh, camo values stationary uh, if you add a bush and all that it's going to be a lot more so you can play a traditional um, you can play this like a traditional tank destroyer hiding at the back in the bushes or I like to play it like a kind of like a heavy tank support more like uh, more towards a heavy tank than a tank destroyer now right now you don't see me being very aggressive because the tank the, the game is uh, still kind of developing yes we are down a thousand two thousand hit points uh, we lose our team is losing a lot of HP but so are they and uh, you know we're not that far behind in terms of the uh the hit points and the amount of guns we still have in the game we're just down one tank so it's not that bad uh we haven't lost any kind of um major positions we have you know we still have 50 percent of the map so it doesn't look too bad i don't need to be uh, too aggressive now this is my first time on the new reworked map i can see there are a lot of changes which is why i have not uh been more aggressive than i could have been uh, i could have like moved moved up or moved forward but i didn't do that because i was not familiar with the map to be honest with you i just wanted to play it safe and you know just try to get as much damage as i can out of this game i think this is only my second game in this tank and i had two really good games which you know led me to believe out of all these tanks that i've played so far i played uh, the top four um, loot box tanks and um, although they're all not incredibly bad they were all playable but they all had their uh how would you say their quirks their weaknesses or their good sides and bad sides and out of the top four tanks uh, or out of the four new tanks i felt like the xm uh, 66f was um the one that i could identify with more why because i feel like this tank has 
a little bit of that agility that I can use, especially in the new meta, in the 2022 meta, 2023 meta, where speed is going to be essential in uh, trying to get a high damage output in your games. Uh, you know, if you're in a tiger mouse, you're in a slow tank. If you spawn in the wrong place or if you go to the wrong spot, there is really no time for you to go anywhere. Even if you, you go to the correct spot in a tiger mouse, maybe by the time you get there, the game is already half over. So there's very little opportunity for you to do a lot of work if you're in a tank that does not have the kind of agility and mobility that uh, the game kind of demands in the 2022-2023 meta. And this is why I feel like uh, the XM66F is kind of like fitting into today's game. Uh, it has the, a little bit of speed, a little bit of mobility, a little bit of agility, uh, although the turret is kind of like limited to uh, how many degrees it can turn. I think it can only turn like um, less than 45 degrees, degrees each side. I'm not sure. Uh, or it's 30 degrees if I'm not mistaken. 30 degrees each side, uh, which is a kind of like a limiting factor. But you got to think about it. Uh, this tank has got a lot of things going for it. So they have to find a way to limit its kind of potential. Otherwise, like for example, this tank doesn't have really great penetration, uh, you know, because of that uh, 232 stock penetration makes it like not that great in 2022-2023. But you can't have everything because if you did, then you would this tank would be OP. I can see a lot of players not liking this tank very much because uh, I did a survey on my community page and a lot of people just said that the tiger mouse is the favorite tank the best tank in the loot box and the second favorite tank is the um type 63 and then the third tank is the object 752 and the xm 66 f is actually the least favorite tank uh, out of all, all these four tanks but I was like, wow, I think a lot of people just haven't actually uh, played the XM66F or maybe they haven't really given it an opportunity to sink into their hearts yet. I don't know uh, what the reason is, but even when I go chat in the forums, I get a lot of people saying this is the worst tank possible, this is the worst tank in the game. Even the TS5 is better than this tank, some of the players are saying. But I completely disagree. I feel uh, this is one of the better tanks uh, in the loot box. And I think in general, in the whole game, I think this is one of like uh, a refreshing kind of tank in tier 8 it's not op but it's pretty good uh yes it's not easy to play with this tank but it is a lot better than a lot of other tanks now i made a huge mistake here because i expected my dpm and i expected my alpha damage to be able to take out uh the shptk but instead i low rolled for 339 and he killed me off now this guy shot me three times and did 500 plus damage i felt like a real idiot here uh i still did 4000 damage but i felt like i could have killed the shptk easily and then farmed another maybe 500 at least a thousand damage maybe uh, on that two remaining tanks man what a shit end to a pretty good game i just stayed patient and farmed everyone and uh, did everything basically correctly to get a good game but end up dying to this shptk <laughs> real shame but like i was saying uh, i feel like the xm 66f is really underrated and if you've not played this tank or if you've not really given this tank a shot i really suggest you at least try this out a couple of times put a turbo on it uh and a 
and a vents and a rammer and give it a shot and see what happens anyway thanks for watching i will see you on the next video bye bye